Hello, welcome down onto the Tech Desk, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at a case for the Nintendo Switch OLED. It seems like forever since I've done a case for this, so I'm really excited. This is the Pro Case Nintendo Switch OLED flip cover. Uh, I have looked at the original one for the original Switch. I looked at that last year, and there were some things I liked about that, and there's some things I didn't like about that. And unfortunately, it's the same with this one. There's a lot to like about this case, but there's also a couple of things that I really don't like about it. So we'll talk about those. When you get it, there's no unboxing to speak of. It just comes in a clear plastic bag. But when you open it up, what you do get is you get this. So for your money, so I paid £18 for this in the UK. That's around $20. I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of this. Do at least get a couple of screen protectors, tempered glass ones and the screen protector accessories. So if you haven't got one, I've already got one on here, so I won't be using these. But if, if you haven't got one, nice to see that it comes with that. And then when you pull it out and you, you, you first kind of hold it without your switch in it, you think actually, this actually feels quite heavy it's not too bad it's not going to be overly heavy is it because of the material but just wanted to show you how heavy it is so it's 188 grams heavy okay put that into perspective the switch is 438 and then just the just the joy cons on their own just being yeah as close to one eight so a hundred so it's almost double so it's almost four joy cons worth of weight which isn't particularly noticeable but you do feel that it's kind of heavier than most kind of switch cases okay so going over it then it's in two parts okay so this bit we'll talk about the flap in a bit but this flap does come off so i wanted to tell you these two parts here it's all white but i hope this comes out on camera this is, they're obviously two different materials, but this isn't really a white, this is more of a cream. So this bit here is more of a cream colored, I'd say. And then the top bit is white. I hope that comes up on camera. Can you see the difference in color between those two? Again, it's only a small thing. It doesn't, that doesn't really bother me. And it's kind of got this, uh uh, gripping material on the top for the case with two knobs for your thumb stick so they're not going to get pressed in we'll put that in a second just to show that and then flipping over it's all nice and smooth and then it's kind of these bulbous grippy bits which are really nice have a kind of texture to them so when you're playing it it will be when you're playing it nicely gripping on there and then along the top here this is all a magnet as i said this is the the flip part of the flip case so that flips open and you can play it like that or if you didn't want to you just pull it off and just have it as kind of just like a grip if you want to. Um, it has all the cutouts in all the appropriate places for the OLED. This is bigger than the original one, so you can't put this in the original one, but even so, if you did want to put it into the original one, you forced it in, all the cutouts aren't going to be right for all the vents and the buttons and stuff, so it's all sorted on this one. Completely smooth inside, no game holder. Normally, sometimes they have a, like a game holder in the, this bit when they have when they have bulbous bits there, we could put a couple of physical games in here. None of that to speak of in here. And then on the flap, this is nice. This is a really nice texture, kind of like almost like a felty, velvety feel to it. So when that's on your switch, it's protecting it. That's really nice. So the way you put it into the switch, as with all of these, you put the top bit in first and then you push it down. The material is quite tough, which is fantastic. Um, so it is a little bit tougher to push in. In fact, I can actually measure it. So look here, if we do the, um, to find out how wide it is there. so you're looking at around two and a half 2.7 millimeters thick this is so it's quite stiff which is a good thing but when putting it in it's a bit tricky so you put it in the top there you have to kind of push it in a bit make sure that those top bits go over and then this is quite a bit of a clip in so you have to give it a bit of a push to clip in but once it's in it's a fantastic fit. I mean, really good. One of the best fitting cases I've had because these, this is, as I said, this is quite stiff, so there's no going to be no sagging or anything like that. I've had this for a couple of weeks on my Switch now, and I've not noticed any sort of sagging around it at all. And as we said, all the cutouts in all the right places, easy to get hold of um, the, the, the triggers and stuff. And the nice thing is when you lay it down as well onto the desk, it actually rests on the case and not on your triggers. Comfort wise, very comfortable to hold with these with these added extra bits. Yeah, they feel great. That feels nice. So when you're playing it, it's a good, it's a, it's a decent grip if that's what you want and decent protection. Um, not so much protection on the, the thumbsticks, but everywhere else because it's a bit raised up from the screen. So you can put it down like that if you want to, but you're gonna be on the thumbsticks. Uh, that's where this bit comes in. So you just slap that on there if you want to and push it over. Now, if I try and press these thumbsticks, I can but it needs a lot of force. So when this is in your bag, there's no way any of these buttons are gonna get pressed unless it's really forced in, and then you can just about. But I shouldn't have, won't have any worries about throwing this in my bag. Okay, that's all the good stuff out of the way. Now I'm gonna move on to something that has annoyed me about the first one, and it annoys me about this as well. Let me know your thoughts on this. So this bit here, this front bit, which is clips on here, so this uh, flap clips on there like that. 
clip there like that. But because this this bit here is all flipper, uh, floppy because it needs to fold over, all you need to do is just press here, anywhere along here, and the case opens up. Okay, so it's kind of shut. But if I use this finger here and just press on here, I can just open it up easy as you like okay so just a little little press on there and it opens up okay that's my only annoyance i'd love to know what your thoughts on that would this annoy you if it's in your bag i don't think it's gonna make any difference really but it because i don't think it could fully open up if it's in a bag but it just i just think if i'm carrying it around it just it's not a great it's not a great fit okay that's my only issue with this could easily be solved if this clip was bigger and it wrapped around a little bit and it actually clipped in. Or if there was any magnets around here that could hold it shut, like in the official um, light case when it magnets shut. But there's no such thing on like that. It's just plastic and it just pops open really easily. Let me know your thoughts on that. And then taking it out is, uh, it's a little bit of a different story really. Because the material is so tough, it's a little bit tricky. There's kind of a, there's kind of a knack to it. So what I've been doing it is I've been popping out the, the bottom bits like like so okay so you've got the bottom out there and then I've been pushing on the triggers like this to, to pop it out it's okay so push on the triggers and then you can pull it out because if you start pulling it out it gets caught on here so best way is popping it in and then popping it out from the bottom like like so if you start pulling it I'm gonna work you kind of have to push it in a bit like that in like that Okay, and then we're out. Obviously, you can't use your kickstand with this and it can't be docked as well for obvious reasons. It's just too thick for it to be docked. So you would need to either take it off or use another sort of grip if you want to dock it. So overall then, in terms of a grip, I think it's a great, it offers plenty of protection. It feels quite nice. Okay, it's a little bit on the heavy side, but that might half of, take half of the weight off by just removing that flap. Um, this is probably let down the most with this flap, with this case here, but entirely up to you. Other than that, a nice, comfy, nice, protective case for your OLED. Don't mind recommending that at all. Go and have a look at the description below. 18 pounds is quite a lot for what is essentially just a kind of like a minor grip or $20. You might be able to get it in a, um, on an Amazon deal, stick it on your wish list. Okay, that was everything. That was my look at the Procase Nintendo Switch OLED flip cover, which comes with two tempered screen protectors. Don't, let me, don't forget. Um, until the next video, do like, do subscribe. Until the next video, bye-bye.